Hello once again, and welcome back to Southern TV, where we go above and beyond to find the trendiest stories surrounding the South African borders and share them with you. Now, before we do that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to give that notification bell a turn out so you can get all of the recent updates. Now, let's get started. President Cyril Ramaphosa criticized the DA's slogan, where the DA governs, it governs well, during a recent door-to-door -door campaign in Mamelodi, a township in Chwane. The ANC leader highlighted the challenges faced by residents, attributing them to the DA's failure to provide essential services. The Chwane municipality under the DA administration has experienced governance issues for over a decade, leading to dissatisfaction among residents. Ramaphosa, joined by ANC leaders, conducted a campaign urging eligible voters to register for the upcoming 2024 national and provincial elections. During the campaign, residents expressed their frustrations, citing issues such as water and electricity shortages, filthy streets, raw sewage and rising crime. Ramaphosa addressed the media, emphasizing water as a major problem in DA Ranchwane, stating that the municipality is responsible for essential services. Promising to address concerns at the national level, Ramaphosa assured intervention by ANC leaders to improve conditions in Mamelodi. The president recalled a previous cholera outbreak in Hounds Kwal in May 2023 linked to water pollution from the royal. The president recalled a previous cholera outbreak in Hounds Kwal in May 2023. Despite promises for a 4 billion rand allocation and temporary water treatment facility, residents still face water unfit for consumption. The lack of improvement raises questions about the effectiveness of ANC interventions and the DA's governance in Chwane. As the nation heads for the polls, the challenges faced by Mamelodi residents highlight the urgency of addressing service delivery issues in the municipality. Thank you once again for being part of Southern TV. Be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.